This is a functional demonstration for the GOM Atos 2 triple scan. Going to take a walk over here, take a look at the setup, and this is a uh, this is the object we'll be scanning. Nice curvy fixture mouse, and here's the sensor head itself. This is the PC, and here's the object that we scanned. This setup comes with three sets of lenses and calibration kits for different sizes. Three different measuring volumes. Measuring volumes. Okay. Okay, we're going to show you uh, the process of scanning an object. This is one that we've already scanned just to show one that's complete. Flip it over, you can see the bottom side. See all the 3D uh, values. And zoom. All right, we're going to start a new project. We're going to discard the changes that well, we'll save the previous one. Okay, this is a new project. We're going to initialize the sensor. Now, so it's showing us a left view. This is the uh, this is the uh, measuring space. The five dots here, those are my fiducial marks, or they call them measuring targets that are on the, you can see how it's identified them on the unit here. We're going to turn on both cameras, so you can see the five fiducial marks, and we're going to start taking scans. We have a manual pointer here that is wireless, so I can take scans while I turn the unit. So we're going to take a scan, that's the noise. We're going to shrink this down so you can see it gather the images as it scans. That's the very first scan. We're going to take several more. Just going to turn the unit. We can go back to the full view. You can see it's starting to stack the data. Take another one. Go back to the double view. And we're doing these all at a fixed angle to get some of the further details on the part. We would probably have to adjust the angle, but this is just a demonstration. Do a few more and then we'll process it. Just to, you can see we've got 
the image in space here with all the different the unit knew we were turning it so it changes the uh, its place in space we're going to drop out this background by we're going to turn off all these other views get down to our first scan and then we'll turn we'll drop out the background select three points on this plane this will get rid of the table now we'll turn all the other views back on so this is the scan data like we mentioned before, we'd have to take additional scans and do some tilting to catch these shadowed areas. Alright, we're going to turn it into polygons. It takes like 8 million points of data per acquisition, so it's a lot of data to crunch. From here you can do a number of things with this software. They've got internal inspection software. This is an additional piece of software that's inside the Pro. You can, you can do actual measurements or you can compare to CAD data. So apply measuring principle, check dimensions, you can get into distances, angles. You can also export, and it looks like it exports a number of different You can export an IGIS. Um, you can export ST, STL. I think that's the poly or the point cloud um, data set. And then these can be imported into things like Polyworks. Um, I think that's what they were using, or uh, other reverse engineering tools to uh, turn this into a CAD model, an actual CAD model. Okay, that's our demonstration. Please let us know if you have any questions.